I want to thank everyone for coming. Um, we're, this is our Shooting Star event where we take opportunity um, to recognize our students and the good things that they're doing in classes. So parents, families, thanks for coming and spending this time with us. So first, I will call up the student's name. While they uh, come up, I'll read what was written about them and then hand them their award. So first is Gage Turner. I'm proud of the hard work Gage has put into his senior year. It has been a joy to work alongside him as he plans for his future after high school. Gage, you are smart and capable of wonderful things, and I look forward to all that you will accomplish in your adult life. This is from Mrs. Evans. The next one is Aubrey Wallace. Aubrey, you have done an awesome job this trimester. I really appreciate how hard you work to get your grades up. You have done an outstanding job of asking for help when you need it, and you do a great job of checking in constantly to see how you are doing. Mrs. Switzer and I are very proud of you and all the hard work you have put in this trimester. And this is from Mr. Byers. So, Aubrey. Nelson Ramirez. Nelson has been tremendous in freshman PE this trimester. He always comes and participates, gives his best effort, and encourages others to do the same. He exhibits great sportsmanship, handles adverse situations, and finds joy in the class. Nelson has been a good teammate and partner to those he plays with by encouraging them, teaching them, and pushing himself to improve and be the best he can be. His efforts have been greatly appreciated throughout this trimester. This is from Mr. Van Dyne. Madeline and McBee. Maddie has done very good work this trimester in Spanish 3. Her positive attitude has helped move the class in the right direction. Her willingness to participate has served as an excellent example to other less motivated students and has helped keep me sane in the fact of end of trimester apathy and despair. Keep up the good work and you'll be great in Spanish 3B. And this was from Mr. Fortner. Elena Barton. Elena has shown growth in her confidence and leadership during class. She is now participating in class discussions and improving her critical thinking skills each day. This is for Mrs. Rushton. Marcus Ford. Marcus showed a tremendous amount of growth while reading Purple Hibiscus in January. His insightful and thought-provoking comments during discussion showed his true abilities and his growth from the start of the school year. Mrs. Rushton. Good job. Ashley Armas. Ashley has done an amazing job of going from regular 10th grade English to honors. She has been picking up her level of analysis and insight and has been participating with confidence. I am so proud that she decided to try something new and is shining with her new classmates. Again, from Mrs. Rushton. <laughs> Yahir Matias. Yahir started at Frankfurt High School last year. He has worked hard and has overcome many obstacles to be successful. He helps his fellow students and has started to translate for others. He had no missing or late assignments for this trimester. He is on track with his credits and pathway for graduation. Great work, you hear, from Mrs. Zickman. <laughs> Hernan Hernandez. Hernan is always ready to learn in the construction class by doing. He jumps in and tries new things. The best thing about this guy is his smile. He always is pleasant and smiling, even if he is struggling. Don't ever lose your infectious smile, Hernan. Thanks for making our trimester fun. From Mr. Smith. <laughs> Evelyn Garcia. In a sometimes sea of negativity and procrastination, Evelyn is a daily reminder of why I teach. She is a very personable young lady who consistently brings an upbeat attitude to the classroom, a willingness to learn, and an open mind. I have greatly appreciated her time in my class and wish her the best of luck over the next four years. This is for Mr. Clark. <laughs> Kate.
Annalisa Hernandez Valdez. Annalisa was a student that excelled in my intro to advanced manufacturing class during the second trimester. My initial observation when the class started was that she appeared to be out of her comfort zone in a class that she knew nothing about. Her effort and attention to detail were key in her getting the most out of the class and succeeding in the environment that she seemed so unfamiliar with. She finished all of the shop product projects in a timely manner and was able to help other students when they had questions on something she had already completed. And this is from Mr. Munier. Jose Lopez Alanis. Jose showed a ton of improvement from first trimester to second trimester. His grades went up, he became much more focused in class, his reading Lexile rose 150 points in 12 weeks, compared to an average growth of 51 points among freshmen nationally for a whole school year. I spoke with Mr. Dudley, Jose's baseball coach, and he said that Jose is also very focused on his baseball skills and they have really powerful conversations about how he can continually improve those skills as well. I am proud of Jose and look forward to witnessing the rest of his high school achievements. Keep getting those personal best, Jose, Mrs. Johnson. Cindy Mejia. I enjoyed having Cindy in class this trimester. She always made it to class before I did. Cindy showed academic growth from first trimester to second trimester. Her reading Lexile went up 125 points in 12 weeks, over twice as much growth as an average freshman as a whole year. Cindy's strong worth ethic, friendly personality, and joyful spirit will create many opportunities for her in the future. Keep up the good work, Cindy. Mrs. Johnson. Oscar Sandoval Cruz. Oscar deserves the Shooting Star Award at Frankfurt High School for a zillion reasons, and I'm honored to nominate him for the award. Oscar is a great ambassador for Frankfurt High School, and though his many activities include DECA, his strong work ethic demonstrated every single day in our English 11 class, his great sense of humor, and perhaps most important to me, his kindness toward others and his willingness to help with any task at any time. For example, some in this world want to know what the favor is before agreeing to help, not Oscar. Many times during the trimester when something's needed to be done, Oscar would volunteer and do his best, no matter the task. From academic work to writing the day on the whiteboard to hanging students' work for display, this aspect of his personality is one of the many reasons that Oscar will undoubtedly be a wonderful leader in his community and workplace. He models kindness, professionalism, hard work, and great zest for life and we all benefit from his ideas and good cheer. Congratulations, Oscar, Ms. Boozer. <laughs> Abel Sanchez. Abel always answers questions during class discussions and advocates for himself for by asking about what he missed on assignments and making sure he is understanding content and what quiz and homework or questions are asking. I see him seeking out ways to improve his performance in other classes as well. Mrs. Woodard. <laughs> is it Diana Roa? Did I pronounce that right? Okay. Diana is a wonderful young woman. She works very hard in class, asks questions when she does understand, and goes out of her way to get extra help to improve her grade. She makes sure she discusses her weaknesses on topics and gets the remediation she needs to be successful when retaking quizzes. She has a strong desire to perform well and learn from past misunderstandings. Diana is also always very polite and willing to help others when they don't understand. She has been a delight to have in class. Mrs. Woodard. Alexander Castillo. Alex answers questions during class activities and discussions. He asks thoughtful questions and is eager to know how to improve his grades. Again from Mrs. Woodard. Omar Mercado Avila. I have had Omar in credit recovery for two years. In the past, he was unfocused and unmotivated. This trimester in credit recovery, Omar was on a mission. 
He was so dedicated that he completed two courses. Congrats, Omar, Mr. Spinchin. Brooklyn Phipps. Brooklyn Phipps is continuing to improve her grades here at FHS. She earned four A's the second trimester. She goes out of her way to do a terrific job with the yearbook. Brooklyn was also involved with this year's big broadcast, which is a time-consuming after-school commitment. She is a thoughtful and caring student that I enjoy having in my community. This is from Mr. Quick. <laughs> Elijah Anthony. Elijah's performance in grade and English class has vastly improved this trimester. His work ethic and personality has truly been positively entertaining and contagious. Elijah has a great spirit and has a fantastic sense of humor. I hope to see him continue this progress. This is from Mrs. Parks. <laughs> Edgar Trejo Martinez. Edgar has made an enormous effort to change his trimester grade this last six weeks. Edgar has made the determination that things were not going well and needed to make an adjustment. For the last six weeks in U.S. History B, he was one of the best students in the class period. From Mr. Marsh. <laughs> Daniel Mejia Cervantes. Daniel has excelled in his government course and has done so in a way that often goes unnoticed. Daniel is quiet. He is the kind of student that lets his work speak for him instead. He has continually put in the effort to excel and has shown an aptitude for government. But because it would be easy for his hard work to go unnoticed, I believe it is important for Daniel to be recognized as a shooting star. Mr. Seymour. Edward Figaro. This is the second trimester I've had Edward, or Alex, in my biology class. He has always been a very reserved and quiet student. Previously, he didn't understand a concept. He would just suffer in silence. This trimester, especially in the past six weeks, I have seen a drastic improvement. Edward has begun to ask more questions if he is unsure and has shown more and more interest in keeping his grades up. His excitement to be on the leaderboard in our review cahoots makes my day. Edward, I'm so proud of you. You're such a bright student. Keep up the great work. Miss Menendez. <laughs> Ella Regal. This trimester was my first time having Ella in class. At first, this Billy Ellish lookalike seemed to be very reserved and quiet. Getting her to open up in my classroom has been one of the most rewarding experiences. No matter what is going on when she's in my classroom, she will focus and do her work. She isn't afraid to advocate for herself, whether she needs to help with content or advice in life. She brings more life into the classroom every day. Ella, keep pushing through life and keep your head up. You will always have a safe place to be who you are in my classroom. Again, Ms. Menendez. <laughs> Aleth Hernandez Nunez. Ayla's level of dedication and commitment to her academic achievement is admirable. She is constantly working towards academic mastery by self-advocating and coming up with creative solutions. This is from Ms. Minwani. Is it Mati Fabian? I am honored to have him with me for two periods every day. She has big goals for her life and works hard towards meeting them. She constantly strives to overcome her challenges with English by putting extra effort into her tasks. Mate's big smile and cooperative spirit in helping other students will serve her well in the future. I know with her attitude and work ethic, your current dreams will one day be your realities. I wish you all the best in the future, Ms. Summers. Nelson Ramirez. 
Nelson is always willing to try and answer any question no matter the difficulty. He sees getting the wrong answer as a step towards getting the correct answer. This is for Mr. Butler. Brian Sarabia. Brian comes to class each day with an energetic attitude that gets others excited for class as well. And this is for Mr. Butler. <laughs> Adric Mounts. Adric is going to stay on his trombone. Oh, he's going to stay on his trombone solo. He is also going to state playing bassoon and our windwind ensemble and bass guitar with our percussion ensemble. He had never played bassoon or bass before this trimester and learned them to help us out. I love that. Mr. Hutton. <laughs> Jonah Parmley. Jonah is learning to play the piano in my first period class. Despite the early hour, he is always prepared and works diligently. His playing has progressed with ease and he is easily one of the best beginning players I've taught. He's quick to ask insightful questions and learns from his self-directed practice every day. He is always on task and shows real interest in piano. I am no doubt that he'll continue to grow and become an even better player. Mr. Denniston. <laughs> Haley Campbell. Haley has become more than just a student in my class. She is a leader, mentor, and tutor. She always gets her work done on time, and when she is done with her assignments, she is never afraid to step up and help others. Mr. Taylor. <laughs> Brandon Lee. Brandon had an uphill battle to overcome when he entered our algebra class. He joined our class partway into the trimester, so he had to play catch up and learn several weeks worth of material that the other students already knew. He was a wonderful addition to our class. He was always on time and had great attendance. He is a super hard worker. I wish other students had his dedication. He asked questions to make sure he understands new concepts. In doing so, he also demonstrated patience as he waited his turn in receiving help. Brandon ended the class with an awesome grade that he well deserves. Mrs. Peart. Alexis Valdez Alanis. I am nominating Alexis as my shooting star because I know that he has such a bright future ahead of him. Alexis is a hard worker and a deep thinker. He has shown a lot of effort in trying to do his best in English class, even when it wasn't easy or when he was overwhelmed. Alexis has a quiet resolve about him that helps other students in our class find their inner focus. He is always up to the task of helping others understand during group time and is a leader in our class. I am so proud of Alexis. Mrs. Bourne. Tristan Ewing. Tristan is a vibrant and important part of our community. She is always the first person to offer to lead any community challenges or initiatives. She genuinely cares about her peers and that was most evident this year in the way Tristan worked to honor Daniel's memory after his passing. She showed strength, maturity, and compassion. Tristan has overcome many challenges in her life and it is a joy to watch her succeed on the dance team and academically as she progresses through high school. Mrs. Bourne. Samantha Sharp. Samantha is a second year student in Building Trades who is a leader among her peers. Keep up the great work, Samantha. Mr. Santos. <laughs> Just to thank, Samantha is one of our few female students out there at second year in a row building our house for Building Trades. So I love some more of you females out there doing that as well. That'd be great. Lucy Smith. Lucy has been an amazing peer tutor. She is willing to help any student who needs help and always finds a way to adjust the material in order to get the student involved. When she didn't know what exactly what to do, she would ask and never stop trying to find a way to help. Mrs. Jagger. Mason Hill. We had the pleasure of having Mason in student services as an office helper. I love chatting with him and getting to know him better. 
Mason always came in with a smile and he took the time one afternoon to explain and introduce me to the world or professional online gaming, which is a foreign concept to those of us of a certain age. It was fun to learn from him and see him light up talking about one of his passions. So glad you joined us at Frankfurt this year, Mason. We are lucky to have you, Mrs. Hickson. Aliyah Martinez. Aliyah is an amazing student. She does a lot to help the students in two different classes. She keeps up with making sure all students are involved in class and works closely with them when needed. She gets involved in the classes by helping to teach my students the correct way something is done. She has great communication with me, so I am always aware of what is going on. Aliyah has been a huge help. Mrs. Jagger. Cameron Waddell. Cameron has been working really hard in class this trimester. He has been keeping up with all of his assignments and participating during class discussions. He makes friends easily and loves to talk to everyone. Mrs. Jagger. <laughs> Alan Miranda Sandoval. I have Alan during my fourth period ICP class and after Christmas I noticed that he was near my room for his first period class. There is a student in my first period class that is wheelchair bound and sometimes the student helper or paraprofessional didn't make it down to assist him to his second period class. One day as I was taking this student, Alan was walking with me and I asked him where he was headed and he told me he was in the same room as the student I was helping. So I asked him to take him the rest of the way and Alan was happy to help. During fourth period the same day, I asked Alan if his first period class was near my room and he told me that it was. So I asked if he would be willing to stop in every day to help the students to their shared second period class the way it helped everyone involved. He was quite eager to help out and has done so every day since we came back from Christmas break. His selflessness and positive attitude is what makes being a hot dog so great. Mr. Field. Elizabeth Paz Gabriel. Elizabeth is receiving this award for having the greatest percentage of improvement in the mile run, 27% with a 320 time improvement. She has worked very hard to reach this improvement. Congrats, Elizabeth. Mr. Galati. <laughs> Brian Munoz. Brian has been a terrific leader in our classroom this trimester. He's consistently offering to show his work for others in the class. Not only is he a great advocate for himself, but he is also a resource for his peers. His enthusiasm and humor always makes the morning better. I appreciate all the hard work he's putting into Algebra 1. Keep up the great work. Mrs. Wiley. <laughs> Alyssa Prather. Alyssa did an incredible job in my class. She came to class prepared and ready to learn. Quiet, but astute. Alyssa is a profound student. Mr. Jewell. Anna Drew. Anna was an outstanding peer tutor in room 215. Whether she was assisting a student to class or helping another student lead calendar, she always had a smile on her face. Anna will definitely be missed in room 215 as she made a great impact on each of the students. We can't wait until she comes uh, back next year to hang out with all of our students. Mrs. McDonald. <laughs> Kiyomi Perkins. Kiyomi is being recognized for her endless supply of patience when working with fellow classmates on team projects. Whereas she does prefer working in a team environment, I have witnessed multiple occasions when she exercised poise in class while refraining physical signs of frustration. For the past 24 weeks, she has redirected partner's focus, used a calming voice in stressing the importance of staying on task, and at times taking the leadership role in getting the task complete. Kiyomi deserves to be recognized for her character traits as being an outstanding team member on marketing projects. The infinite amount of patience that she displays is remarkable. Mrs. Graham Bishop. <laughs> Renee Alanis. I appreciate that Renee always does his work and makes sure that everything is turned in on time. 
During PCC this trimester, I have seen how he has really thought about his career choices and what he has to do to get there, even now as a freshman in high school. He goes above and beyond in class to make sure that he is doing his best and is a great example for his classmates. He is kind, considerate, and respectful. I enjoy having him not only in PCC, but also in nutrition and wellness, another class where he always does his best. He leads his group and tries to do all that is asked of him, even if it's something new. Mrs. Thomas. Oseas Garcia. Oseas works hard in PCC. I appreciate that he always makes sure to get his work done and turn in on time. He goes beyond expectations on his assignments and always does his best work. He has been thinking through his career options and what he wants to do with his future. I have enjoyed seeing him thinking about these things and working hard even now to achieve his goals. He is always respectful and considerate and I appreciate the good example he sets for his peers. Mrs. Thomas. Damon Henry. Damon is a blast to have in class because he is an obvious genuine interest in cars and always wants to learn. Mr. Blunt. Aleli Alanis Regalado. Aleli has been an excellent geometry student and has achieved over 100% in the class due to her diligence with Khan Academy and attentiveness in class. Mr. Isles. <laughs> Ariana Hill. Ariana has been leading geometry student throughout this last trimester. She is attentive and diligent, consistently achieving high marks. I look forward to our continued adventures in Geometry B. Mr. Isles. <laughs> Hannah Britton. Hannah has been a great student to have in class these past two trimesters. She brings an excellently dry sense of humor along with her outstanding study habits. She should take computer science courses so that I can have her in class again. Mr. Isles. Okay, so these next group actually have more than one that I'll read for them. Daniela Vargas Martinez. This was Daniela's first trimester at Frankfurt High School and she earned a 3.8 grade grade point average, which is very high. She did that while working six days a week outside of school. Her reading level grew by 135 points in 12 weeks, three times as much as the average junior grows in a year. Daniela is intelligent, hardworking, helpful, and gracious, traits that will make her highly effective no matter what career path she chooses. That was from Mrs. Johnson. I am honored to nominate Daniela for the Shooting Star Award. She's an extremely conscientious, courteous, positive, delightful, and insightful student, and as much she is a delight to have an English 11. Daniela has been at Frankfurt High School for a few months, and she has already demonstrated an excellent work ethic, impeccable personal standards, and strong motivation. Daniela strives to improve her English and academic skills each day and declined the offer to have her an English 11 final exam read to her, never taking the easier path. I admire Daniela's ability to manage her time, balancing difficult academic classes with hard work in the family business outside of school. She also exhibits her artistic skills in her project for the things they carry. Daniela demonstrates dedication to doing her best each day and she is kind and respectful to everyone in class. She makes great grades and she genuinely wants to learn. I am thankful that she and her family moved to Frankfurt because she is a wonderful asset to our school. Congratulations, Daniela. Ms. Boozer. Elise Thomas. Elise has shown both grit and determination in wanting to graduate high school this year. Her intrinsic motivation has not only helped her pass classes that she is taking, but also being able to make up three credits in six week time span. Her attitude and confidence has also changed this year as well. She is walking with confidence because she is believing in herself. I am super proud of her and the accomplishments that she has made in this deserving uh, Shooting Star Award. That's from Mrs. Willoughby and Mr. Kniff. Mrs. Switzer as well. Elise richly deserves a Shooting Star Award this trimester. In our English class, she was one of only five students to earn an A on the final exam. 
Elise has made great academic strides, not just in English, but in several classes. For example, Mr. Fields seconds this nomination because of her solid performance in his class as well. As Elise prepares to graduate, I am so proud of her, but also a little melancholy because I will miss her next year. There is never a dull moment with Elise in class. She has had a great sense of humor, vast knowledge about animals, an inquiring mind, and at times amazingly keen insights. I will always treasure a little Paul Powell's hot dog she gave to me, but I treasure wonderful Elise even more. Congratulations, Elise. Miss Boozer. Jacqueline Ramey. Jacqueline is a sweet, compassionate, and friendly person who brightens my day at FHS. I am proud of the way that she cares for others and the work that she puts into being a good student. I have enjoyed getting to know Jacqueline this year, and I'm excited to see what the rest of her high school years will bring. Keeping up, keep up the great work, Jacqueline. That's from Mrs. Evans. The next one, Jacqueline, above being an art student, is a genuinely nice, polite young lady. In a class whose dynamic can be challenging at times, she is constant. I appreciate her abilities and willingness to listen and learn. Looking forward, hopefully, to bigger and better things from the future. Thank you, Jacqueline. Mr. Clark. Aureli Mendita Santos. Aureli always keeps her head up, even when everything gets tough. Thank you for working hard and being so dedicated. Keep it up. It's for Mr. Travis. Aureli has consistently attempted all assignments and has worked to understand the physics concepts that are to be learned from them. And that was from Mr. Hammond. Randell Reyes. Randell is the ultimate class leader, leading by example and collaboratively helping his peers with academic achievement. Ms. Manwani. Randell has been an enthusiastic student who questions ideas that he does not understand and works to make sense of the physics concepts, including in the assignments. From Mr. Hammond. <laughs> Pedro Lopez Hernandez. Pedro often has the highest grade out of all four of my biology classes. He consistently finishes every assignment and every extra credit assignment while continually asking questions in addition to what he is assigned to do. His attitude towards excellence and willingness to help others sets an encouraging example for other students to follow. His intelligence combined with his work ethic will no doubt help him to achieve every personal goal he sets. I look forward to hearing about his future endeavors. That's from Mrs. Kelly. Pedro is an excellent team member, collaboratively and positively guiding his peers to achieve their own personal best academic success. It is also admirable that Pedro accomplishes this very humbly because he has an excellent command of the Spanish language and culture. Ms. Manwani. <laughs> Emily Hurlis. I had the pleasure of having Emily in my digital photography class. Besides having a great work ethic and genuine interest in my class, I love Emily's willingness to help anyone who was struggling. Emily, thank you for being you. I appreciate your sincere, caring heart. That's from Mrs. Caesar. Emily is an amazing young woman. She has been fighting through a, t a number of issues this year and has not had an easy year. Through all that, she is still the most cheerful and positive student I have. She does not let the tough times get her down. What is also especially impressive about Emily is how supportive she is of her friends. She has a number of close friends in class and throughout the year, her friends have had down days. Emily is the first one to get in their faces and try to cheer them up. She has a bottomless well of caring and empathy. She makes all of us better simply by her presence. I wish her the best of luck and she is my definition of a shooting star, Mr. Bowsman. Iris Madeira. From Iris' freshman to sophomore year, Iris has matured greatly and has dedicated herself to becoming a strong student. Great job, Iris. Mr. Kniff and I are proud of your hard work. From Mr. Wayne Scott. 
Iris transferred into my community class from Mr. Fortner's community. She is always willing to pitch in and participate in everything. She helped decorate the door for winter homecoming and has helped decorate my room. She has participated in the food drive for the backpack buddies. The quality that I appreciate the most in Iris is her kind and caring heart. She wrote the most amazing letter to the servicemen for Christmas. I am privileged to have her in my community, Mrs. Berkey. Josie Springer. Josie is welcome addition to the Frankfurt community. As a new student to the art program, I greatly appreciate her willingness to be involved, share her thoughts during discussion, and her openness to new ideas and constructive criticism. She is a very talented young lady who I hope will continue to do good things in the future. Thank you, Josie. That's from Mr. Clark. It is clear that Josie values her educational success by the way that she is never satisfied with the minimum class requirements. Josie does a great job of pushing herself in order to get as much as possible from her educational experience. Mr. Jagger. <laughs> Jocelyn Markham. She helped another student in need and was very calm and collected. She has lifeguarded for me and has always done a stellar job. Her knowledge is great and she practices her skills. Great job with lifeguarding and using those skills outside of the job. Mr. Robbins. Jocelyn is a piano sponge. She has taken the beginning piano class with no previous experience, did really well, and is now in the intermediate piano class where she is thriving. In addition to the daily work and practice I give, she is always wanting more music and learns and practices many songs outside of the required coursework. It is evident that she loves to play and that fuels her success in learning and improving every day. I'm constantly surprised by the songs she learns and her attitude to soak up any bit of piano knowledge she finds. I hope she continues to play because she has a natural knack for it. Mr. Denniston. <laughs> Gabby Reyes. Gabby's always participated in discussions and I valued her eagerness. I knew I could always count on her to answer questions or share her thoughts. That's from Mrs. Brandstetter. Gabby has gone above and beyond in yearbook. She has not only completed her assigned pages before their deadline, she has helped several others with their pages. Gabby helped to keep the staff on track and was a huge help with the senior portrait section. Gabby is on task, well organized, and a leader in the classroom. She has been an invaluable member of the staff this trimester. Mrs. Schaefer. Alex Santiago. Alex has a great attitude about learning. He enjoys being challenged with difficult concepts. He asks thoughtful questions in class and is always proactive about getting misworked when he is absent. It's for Mr. Dudley. Alex, I'm impressed with the goals that you have set forth for your fitness. I have no doubt that you will reach these goals based on the effort you have displayed and your continued effort. Congratulations, Mr. Potts. These last few, we just want to make sure that they are absent and not in here, and it's because I want to make sure we recognize them just in case they did show up today. It's Jacob Day, Angelica Fry, Abby Smith, Jaslyn Cisneros. What? Oh, I will happily do that one. Abby. Abby is kind and helps out her fellow classmates when they need help staying on task. She also draws a fantastic penguin, Mr. Wrighthouse. <laughs> Jose Bravo Vargas. And then Dora Villarreal. Okay. Well, again, congrats to all of our students. You guys are doing a great job. Um, feel free more stuff back there for you to enjoy and thank you for coming and supporting our, your students.